Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of the Mission Matters Business Podcast, your source for all things business. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres. Keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, missionmatters.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so today I have Christine Sani on the line, and she's author of Meet Me at the Table, Where Greatness and Impact Collide. Christine, welcome to the show. Oh, thank you so much. I'm happy to be here, Adam. Oh, my gosh, so happy to have you on the show and so excited about your new book. Um, so first off, congratulations on the new book. No easy feat to get one done. Thank you, thank you, and true. A lot of uh, late nights and early mornings for sure. Oh, I, I can bet. Um, and uh, let, let's just kick it off. Let's get right in the book. So first off, um, what was the inspiration behind uh, creating this work? Yeah, the inspiration behind this book was to really um, give. And what I mean by that is uh, this book really goes into detail. It actually is a guide um, to how I changed my mindset and the outcomes that were produced by taking that shift, that mental shift into living my life really from what I call the giver's seat and quite naturally being in complete alignment with uh, the understanding that fulfillment for me, success, and everything that I inspired to give to the world really did come from me being committed to giving. And so the book is really that gift. It is the lift as you rise, and I wanted people um, to know how I did it, and I wanted to give them that opportunity to really understand their value, understand the things that make them great, so they could show up to the world and uh, leave their legacy. So uh, as I as I went through the book, I mean a couple a, a lot a lot of it sticks out. So I'm I'm going through it, and I, I and we're not to so the listeners. By the way, we're not going to have time to go through the whole book, as and you know that because <laughs> I want you to go buy the book number one. So we're not going to give you all the secret sauce, but I do want to pull out some things that I thought were interesting. So um, first off, chapter four, Hello Habits. Um, tell us a little bit more about this one, please. Yeah, Hello Habits is really just an acknowledgement that um, part of uh, you hear this terminology manifest, and I set this expectation with my community that in order for you to achieve anything in life, it requires you to do the work. And so if you have been unfamiliar with what it takes to change uh, outcomes in your life and to create legacy and leave your mark, um, it really does require... Um, a readjustment of your habits. And so chapter four really dives into um, short, sweet, simple to the point of um, developing new habits that serve your purpose and that are in alignment with what you're looking to create in life. And so it really does sort of take out the guesswork in, well, if I've got habits that aren't serving uh, my purpose, how do I get rid of those? Well, I don't want you to focus on getting rid of those. I want you to focus on creating new habits because when you create new habits, it leaves no room for those habits that don't serve you. So it's a, it's a really good chapter suite to the point of how to create new habits in your life and uh, let those habits really align with where you're going in life. What was, and uh, this is like uh, asking somebody to choose between their children, which I'm told you're not allowed to do or able to do, but what was <laughs> one of your favorite, and I don't have kids, so I don't know, but I'm just saying I'm told, um, but what was one of your favorite, uh, your favorite stories from the book that you told and or examples in the book? Well, I think really in chapter one, um, I would tell you my favorite, but I really do want you to read it. But in chapter one, it really does set the foundation. It sets the expectation. This is going to be a mindset shift. And so for those that um, uh, will be inspired by just reading the book and sort of hearing a little bit about um, what I considered um, was really, really important in my life and, and even in that, having to make a decision to change, um, the first chapter really does even scientifically state 
that our brains are capable of giving us a safe place to to, to add new labels to our life and to take away mm-hmm. ones that don't serve us, right? And so it does say in just simplest form, uh, you know, labels dictate your behavior. And it's not just, oh, you know, I don't have time to do what I'm really, really passionate about. Um, even if you say that subconsciously, you behave as if you do not have time. Um, so it's a real uh, foundation setter um, for the readers to say, oh, okay, this book, it's going to make me feel good. I'm going to get a guide. But at the end of the day, if I don't change my mind and if I don't choose uh, to do the work, then I will really be the only one holding myself back. Tell us about um, about your uh, your hashtag. So hashtag greatly made. Yeah, so Hashtag Greatly Made is uh, the name of the community on Facebook. But what Greatly Made means, our mantra behind Greatly Made is that we um, are all born, this is our belief, that we're all born with the component to become great. I often get the question, Christine, do you believe that, you know, anyone has greatness inside of them? And, And yes, I unapologetically, without hesitation, say that we're all born with the components to become great because our very existence is a miracle. If you look at the chances, the numbers uh, that it took to actually bring you into the world. Um, I was watching a uh, a talk that Mel Robbins gave, and she talked about how scientists had come up with this number, um, one in 400 trillion chances of you actually being a viable birth, meaning you were 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 uh, created right in your mother's womb, and uh, you sat there for however long you sat there, and then you were born and you're here. And so when I look at human beings, I see them as trillionaires, right? And my question is, what are you going to do with the chance that you've been given? Um, so greatly made is we're born with the components to become great. And that we are not defined by the individual occurrences in our life, uh, but by the um, uh, 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 cumulative uh, set of tools and, and, and acumen and resources that we get from those storms, right? And so a lot of times when um, I'm coaching and I've got an individual that's seeking their purpose, um, And it's so interesting that when we seek our purpose, we often look external of our being, of who we are. And your purpose is already inside of you, right? It's it's typically, when you get down into the deep nitty-gritty of it, is we have a problem with uh, uh, thinking that we are qualified to go after everything that we aspire to explore in our lives. So this book really does give you that safe place uh, to say, you know what, this really is me, and I do want to give it to the world. And uh, it just encourages them to sit at their canvas and paint, and paint with all those tools uh, that you've been given um, throughout your journey. So that's what it means to be greatly made, is that we're not born great, but we sure are born with the component uh, to become great. And it's about putting all those things together and then realizing that, no, Greatness is not about knowing who you are and then keeping it inside. It's about giving it. That's awesome. I love it, Christine. I love what you're doing with this book. I love what you're doing with the project and with the community. I mean, all great stuff there. So if Thank somebody so is, absolutely, if somebody's listening to this and they want to learn more about your book or about your work or to connect with the community, I mean, what's the best way for them to reach out and to get that info? Number one, go to the website. There you will find a little clickable button uh, to go to uh, our Greatness Learned Academy, which is a subscription model where you will have unlimited access to courses. The mission behind that is to empower, build, and teach greatness without walls or invisible ceilings. Uh, So the best way to reach me is www.pristinesani.com, my first and last name. And that will really be a repository of all the links, social media, 
uh, where you can find us and be a part of our community. Fantastic. Well, Christine, really appreciate you coming on the show today and sharing more about your background and uh, all the great things that you're doing with your new book and also with the community. So awesome stuff there. And uh, to the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. Hope you got a lot of value out of this. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the podcast, uh, leave me a review on the Apple iTunes Store, and if you're watching this on our YouTube channel, Mission Matters Business, definitely give us a subscribe there, but also leave us some comments in the comment section of the video. I'd love to know what kind of projects and things that you're working on. Uh, and Christine, thanks again for coming to the show.